Well, this is Mike with Haltech Engine Management Systems, and we're going to be covering how to get your Race Pack IQ3 dash to display air fuel ratio in conjunction with an E8 or an E11 V2. Uh, first, uh, make sure that you have your configuration file open. Um, if you have any questions regarding this, please see the tutorial on doing so. Um, once you have your data logger dash or your display dash online and connected, uh, we're going to take a look at all the channels here that we have displayed and look for the one that we want to change. Um, the one that we want to change today is our air fuel ratio to display uh, air fuel instead of lambda. So you'll find the channel EFI AF1 and we will click that um, and here you will see the custom configuration file uh, values for getting the air fuel to display as opposed to lambda. Your raw data value A will be 0, will become 0. Raw data value B will become 0 0.0147. Uh, I just did a minimum result value of 7 and maximum of 23. Uh, display two digits before and two digits after. Resulting unit. Uh, it doesn't matter what that is, uh, but we will change that to AFR. Uh, make sure everything's fine here. Make sure that your VNet ID is EFI AF1 X539 and the sensor selected to Lambda. And we will send that configuration. Select OK. OK again. Uh, and then we will come up here to our IQ3 logger uh, bar. And that is the key to changing any displays on the dash. So we will right click that, we will look at our display page 1, that is our main display page. Uh, we will select which channel we want to display the air fuel ratio. Uh, I've already got it configured here, so we'll go to that channel. Uh, you'll click on the channel to display, there will be a drop down menu. Uh, you'll see a number of things, uh, but since we want air fuel, we're going to select EFI AF1 is 539. Um, decimals we're doing two after uh, averaging filters okay at one and whatever you want this channel to be labeled uh, is what you will put here you can do up to five letters where you're doing AFR so we'll select okay on that and we will send the configuration it's important anytime you make changes that you want to display on the dash you will have to send the configuration and select okay after that uh, from there now, you should have air fuel ratio being displayed on your IQ3 dash.